Hi guys, got a request from Magnetman2010. Can you make a car with a CD body and wheels? Now, because my mind works in strange ways, I can interpret that request two different ways. It's either just a CD body with wheels, or a CD body with CD wheels. So I'm not quite sure which he wants, and I'll probably do both. But I've got a little project in mind that just using the CD as the body will fit into quite nicely. So that's what I'm going to do first. Right, let's try and explain what we've got here. We've got an electric car, basically. We've got a CD for the body or chassis. We've got four plastic balls for the wheels. The front plastic balls come from roll-on underarm deodorants and we've got a bicycle spoke for the axle and a few plastic beads to position it. On the back, these two plastic balls are beer can widgets. You'll have to Google that if you don't know what they are. We've got two separate cheap electric motors to power the back wheels. Got an on-off switch just there. Got a 5 volt relay there, and what happens? We've got four AAA batteries at the front in pairs, so we've got 3 volts and 3 volts. When the relay is not operated, these batteries, 3 volts, are driving the wheels forwards. When the relay is operated, it switches over to the other pair of batteries and the current flows the opposite direction so the car goes backwards. And the way the relay is operated is by this little arrangement which is very simply a weight swinging in the breeze and when it hits, when the car hits something it swings forward, makes contact and the circuitry connects the power to the relay. So if I just make contact, you can hear the relay going on and off. Right, so the theory is, it goes along, it hits a wall, spring swings forward, relay operates, car goes backwards. In practice, it doesn't work very well. It goes back, but not for very long, because obviously it's only as long as that relay is made. So it just jerks back a little bit then goes forward again. So if we wanted it to work properly we'd have to put some sort of delay circuit in there. Um, capacitor, resistor, uh, one of those 555 timers, something like that, to actually hold the relay on for a little bit longer so it goes back a bit further. We'll give it a little test run. As I say it doesn't work very well but you'll get the general idea of what's supposed to happen. is actually trying to go backwards but it just doesn't get enough time to do it. Okay, summary time, what have we got? We've got a bug that's not quite working right, as you could see there. It nearly works, and I've spent enough hours on it that I think I'll call it a day. Um, so I mod modified the original bug by adding a delay circuit on the relay that reverses the current flow through the motors. Um, I've actually got a separate battery feeding this little delay circuit. Uh, we've got a 555 timer in there, transistor 2222. The white LED comes on when the tilt switch makes contact. The red LED comes on to indicate that the relay is operated. And then I've got a variable potentiometer here, 
so I can change the amount of time the relay stays operated. So if I turn that up a bit, you know, see it stays on quite a bit longer. I don't know if you can actually see the red LED, I've just realised the wires are in the way. Turn it the other way. Turn it all the way. So that keeps the motor running in reverse for however long I've set it to. Um, I'm demonstrating it on the desk here because it's easier to see than running backwards and forwards across the kitchen. But I think that's it. So it's not quite right, but I think it's close enough to call it a day.